for me, I'm very proud to be Vietnamese. But to know that 90% of the world's rhino horn comes to my country, it's, it's a smack on the face, you know, it's an absolute embarrassment for our people. To do that, we, we obviously required funding, so we worked with our partners at uh, Peace Parks Foundation and Investec. People have a very limited understanding how severe this rhino poaching really is. We needed to actually focus on demand reduction and the consumers of rhino horn. So we started with a crazy idea of trying to raise the awareness. From those entries, 24 were chosen. They are here. Now. I don't know what the feeling is going to be like, but I'm hoping for something like great. When they're able to reconnect, or for the kids, not even reconnecting, just connecting, sometimes for the first time in their life, I think that's when the message will come through. I feel really lucky and privileged like, to see an actual rhino in the wild. to see them roaming wild and free. It was a really magical moment. After the trail, we got the pleasure to um, go to this orphanage. Oh my God. It saddened me how like they were so small, like just like us or maybe smaller, and they already lost their parents. I feel ashamed, to be honest. Um, I, I just feel so emotional and then I, I just, sometimes I, I, I hate being Vietnamese people, you know. <laughs> some, some stupid people and then just ruin it. We have to touch their hearts. I think that's really the solution. Because when the kids speak, adults will listen. 